Welcome back to Owen's Fair. Holy fuck, it's been a number of months actually since we got back on this game. Oh shit. Um, so I figured um, summer's coming about halfway through summer right now, so I figured it'd be a good chance to get back on this, try to get caught up on it. And last time we completed book two, so we are on book three now. Fairyland. Just pick that up. And then we're gonna, just gonna go ahead and get this started right over here. Yes, we would like to read Fairyland. So basically the reason... Oh, once upon a time in a starlit forest far, far away, fairies lived under the protection of a queen resembling flowers like a fleeting fantasy. So that's kind of the setup. <laughs> Rainford Gardens. Basic, uh, mainly, main reason that I haven't had a chance to get back on this game is because I've been busy with a lot of other projects. Mercedes, where have you been? You're quite persistent, aren't you, old man? Just gonna trot along. Wait, Mercedes. Uh oh. Mother. Busted. Where are you off to? With my precious bow. Frog hunting. Frog hunting with a fucking cipher. Yes, I see. Tis necessary to exterminate those. A little bit of an overkill, don't you think? Fairies. But you should leave that task to the soldiers, dear. I just want to improve my skills with the bow, so I can join you on the battlefield. Mercedes, I cannot take you along when we battle the demon lord. Because you probably make no, all, all of us look bad. Why not? Also, that is some weird anatomy that she has. You need I mean, I'm, I'm saying this after we played o uh, Dragon's Crown. Uh, I know that, but still, it's it's kind of weird how Vanillaware usually takes certain liberties with ana anatomy in regards to designing their characters. And who the hell is this guy? Cannot live without Fozons, our source of life. Melvin? Melvin? Huh. Fozons are magic elements generated by nature. Melvin. They are rare outside the forest. Not exactly a name I'd expect an elf Since to have. Since we've collected them from around the world, we are gifted with prosperity. The demon lord has declared war on us so that he may obtain our treasure. And because he thinks Is we owe him money. What he wants? Our greatest treasure, the cauldron, will give him enormous power. So. That's why he's a and also because he's kind of a dick, yeah. <laughs> Mercedes, I shall entrust you with my precious bow. It will be your responsibility to protect the country while I am away. Yes, mother. I understand. Now, it's been years since I so, played this chapter, or this I'll game in general. So, now. but, so I don't really remember the exact chain of events, but I can probably say right now that shit's gonna hit the fan. Oh dear. I wonder if that child understood anything I told her. Tis a problem. She has no idea of her position and what is expected she's of her. a fucking kid! Melvin, you are her cousin. She treats you as a brother. Please help her become... a good queen. Oh my! As you wish. I shall make it my duty to assist Princess Mercedes in any way possible. Okay, so he's probably gonna be... out. I already get the feeling that he's kind of a shady character to begin with. Okay, here we go. Tutorial time. So, the thing that separates Mercedes from the other characters is that she doesn't really attack... have regular attacks. And uh, she all... Not only that, she doesn't quite move the same way either. It's like... Unlike Gwendolyn could kind of float, but Mercedes full on flies, so, and that's because on the ground her mobility is kind of bleh. So and she also doesn't really attack normally either. Yeah, ammo is used to fire, and you cannot fire when ammo. Yeah, she doesn't have a stamina gauge; she has ammo instead, and it kind of functions the same way as the uh, regular style uh, power gauge. Um, and it, well, not quite the same, but yeah, you just, basically, it's kind of the same idea, but instead of 
like, uh, using regular attacks, she actually just shoots things instead. So it kind of turns the game into a bit of a uh, shooter instead. So yeah, her gameplay is largely about um, managing your ammo reserves and just making sure to keep your distance from enemies because you don't really have that many defenses. Because I don't believe she can guard. Yeah, she does not have a guard actually because of the way she because of the way she plays. She doesn't have a guard, and she doesn't really have a, a slight attack, she doesn't really have an anti-air or anything, so all of her attacks are just different kinds of shots. She has a downward shot, she's got the straight shot, crouching, sends one along the ground, and she's got kind of an upward shot as well. Not exactly the best kind of shot, but it's not... doesn't really cover a whole lot, so... So yeah, this is kind of how she plays here. And of course, you still get Cypher skills as well. Okay, and yeah, to reload, you have to be on the ground in order to do that. Oh, yeah, just like that. You kind of have to make sure to keep your distance. She's got kind of a rapid fire thing. No. Yeah, she also gets knocked back, knocked down really easily. So basically, the idea behind her is you gotta be able to keep your distance while also trying. And yeah, let's finish this guy off. So that's pretty much Mercedes in a nutshell, really. Um, this is good. It's he's not really difficult to play, but it's just really different compared to what you might know what one would be used to compared to uh, when after playing the uh, Gwendolyn and Cornelius because it really changes the game dramatically. A uh, history of Ringford. Until a relatively short time ago, fairies and unicorns were not united country, but instead existed as small tribes spread throughout the forest. Shortly after the fairy queen Elfaria gained control of the cauldron, country of Ringford showed accelerated growth and established themselves as a military power. Ringford is now considered to be equal to the other two great nations of Arian, Ragnar, Vidal in the north, and Titania in the east. <sighs> and that's Ringford in a nutshell. Ah. Pick up, please. And let's see. So yeah, that's that's a shot. Yeah, she doesn't really have a dash either, so her mobility is not really great, other than her flight. Her well, her ground-based mobility is not great. In the air, though, she's pretty good. So that's where you're gonna be spending most of your time at. And let's just go ahead and play. empty this clip. And it pro that's probably something I'm gonna need to get in the habit of doing, just having a fresh clip at each map. I'm going to each area because I don't really know if it automatically reloads. Oh wow, that is a flowy jump. I guess that makes sense. Um. Anyway, what was I talking for? Yeah, base. The reason why I was kind of why I haven't really gone back to this for so long is because I've been working on the other playthrough. I've been working with Shovel Knight. Oh, story. Your Majesty, the Demon Lord has launched an assault. Oh hi. Our soldiers have been pushed back. Some have deserted from the front line. We're going right in this. Our guardian dragon is having trouble dealing with Odin's Okay. Rage. We have no choice but to retreat. So it's Your starting us essentially to right at the beginning of Gwendolyn's arc. The demon lord is invading! Oh. Well then. What an enormous cipher! <laughs> Odin's not fucking around! It's been a while, Alfaria. Last time you were unusually shrewd and managed to steal the cauldron away from me. Demon Lord Odin. You are beautiful as ever. And yet, I regret right. that I will have to break your perfect neck like stepping on a leash. I will not give you the cauldron. Odin's pretty violent when he's in war mode. You will have to take it by force. Yet I cannot allow you to continue your violent and petty ways unpunished. Say what you will, 
Your attempts at deception have no effect on So me. how does she exactly expect to observe this blue orb? Behold the might of the wicked eyed Baylor. Baylor, that's a cipher. I couldn't remember what its weapon was actually Gain, called. Except defeat. With this, I will become absolute ruler of the world. Go. Mourn the death of the fairy race. He's Odin, you're really evil. Oh, she's not in good shape. Mother. Shh. Now listen carefully to what I have to tell you. It is very important. Mercedes, you must not look down. Raise your head high and survey the path ahead. You are the next fairy queen. This is like the trend of this game. Every beginning starts off on such a despair, despairing note, such like such sadness. The magical kettle, the cauldron. If it draws in all the bosons, our forest and our people cannot live. The land needs a leader. You will need to revive the country and get the cauldron back from the demon lord. If you respect my words, you will need to choose the path of royalty over revenge. Be a queen. Tis difficult to place such a burden on one so young, but I know you can do it. Mother believes in you. So much sadness. Oh, dearest Earth, take me. I go back to whence I came, and to the beloved heavens, I will give you my name. I am Elfaria. My true name is Thimble Vetter. Okay, Thimble Vetter. I think is another Norse deity, but I can't remember. Who, what, who that name is linked to specifically, and she's dead. Well, Queen's dead. So, um, that's kind of a sad way to start things off. Uh, yes, please save. So that way I don't have to go through that depressing scene again. Fray 1, Chapter 1, Act 1, Ringford Palace. Okay, so, yeah, this scenario. Princess Mercedes, we have so many injured that we have run out of sick beds and medicine. What shall we do? Well, um, uh... Murder the sick. They're not doing much anyway. Let's open the Southern Imperial Villa and house the wounded there. Or we can do that too. I shall notify our mages to increase healing potion production. Princess Mercedes, I hope this is adequate. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah, I got kind of, I still don't trust that guy. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, it's Oswald. What are you doing here? So, you must be Melvin's Shadow Knight. Pardon me. I'm not feeling well. Oh, uh, right. This is after he encountered Gwendolyn at the battlefield. Knowing that the Demon Lord is on his way here makes me nervous. Do you think? Your Majesty, I swear by my horn. I will fight to the end for Queen Elfaria. I'm Thank sure you. you will. And totally won't job out completely and lose pathetically. And what do you do? Your Majesty. I'm extremely unhappy. They've got medication for that, you know. In the past, the former queen battled with the dwarves from the cauldron. When we were defeated, we left our forges and became lilipats. But the dwarves who escaped the fairies joined forces with the demon lord and made more weapons to Ah, uh, so how some of the dwar some of the gnomes and the dwarves 
might not actually be getting along right now. Well, well. Just let me know if there's anything. Ooga! So what do you have? What can I use? Oh, right, I don't have any money. Never mind. Uh, bent status effect poison. Okay, detox. So the fact that it's showing me the detox char might mean I have a lot of poison to deal with. So what do we have in my inventory right now, actually? Uh, two mulberry seeds and the material. Okay, so nothing really... Nothing really I can use right now, but hey. Let's just go ahead and get to the world map and see where we need to go. Uh, yep, Deep Forest of Elrit, sounds about right. So, let's just go on and get over there. Oh, it just shoots the landmark. It just nukes the place from above. Just... I was like, fuck going to this place! Nuke it from above! Destroy everything! It has not been long since you lost your mother. It's only been like five Perhaps minutes. You need a vacation. But no, then I'm. Allow me to handle the governmental affairs. The people will be fine. Shady. Are you suggesting that the queen is a bird? Absolutely not. Now then, the chief armorer would like to discuss something with you. I'll see him immediately. Shady! Excuse me, I must be on my way. Okay, so he does have furry wings. I couldn't really see them at first. So he's controlling the armed forces as he wishes. Just as Mother said, I cannot do anything. Queen Mercedes, please control yourself. There's something strange in the air here. Melvin is acting highly suspiciously. No shit, Sherlock. His heart burns with ambition, and he seems to be making some kind of plan. He's not showing anything on the surface, but we can't let this continue. Let us speak with the sorcerer who served Queen Elfar. Everyone seems to have their own sorcerer. The famous sorcerer Beldor, who enslaves oh, the that and guy. It is better to have a dependable expert on our side. I doubt he will cause a rebellion within the land, but who can say? Well, say chances are pretty high. If the country collapses after Queen Alfari's death, the Demon Lord truly wins. Well, yeah, rebellion would be kind of a bad thing I to have happen. I have that has retreated to a place in the forest. If Queen Mercedes should visit him in the forest, he should be honored to help. Also, she has wide fucking hips for a little kid. That doesn't really make any sense. Anyway, flying! Yay, flying! Find Will Bandor stays in the forest and convince the mage to join you! Oh. Just kinda knock all these frogs around. Eh. I can just kinda... There we go. Uh, yeah, just shoot, just shoot everything. Ah! Say hello to my little friend. Because I am a little lonely fairy with a huge freaking gun. I really do a terrible Scarface impression. I'm sorry about all that, about that. Anyway, we have an S ray key. Nice. It's a good way to start things off. Alright, so do we get a map yet? That, oh no, that's my inventory. Uh, yeah, okay, so I got two bags. I should start planting some mulberry seeds in the next map and see where I can go in. Oh, right! I got Mandragoras here too. Just shoot the fuck out of it! I wonder if there's anything more around here. Wow, you really move slow on land. And a very floaty jump. Seriously, this is like a Dalsum jump. Here you are. Eh. Just murder the fuck out of it. Okay. Eh. Okay, one more. There you are. Oh, it's a carrot this time. Yay. This stage is actually being very generous with the Mandragoras. Okay, so if I remember correctly, yes, that's the one I need. I'm probably gonna need these. Grab that. Eh. Do I have any cipher skills? 
Oh, piercing shot. Okay, so this is a skill that's unique to her, so I can try to use that for, well, piercing, obviously. And, uh, next time on Own Sphere, we look for an old fucking wizard that may or may not be willing to help us. Because we are a little girl, and little girls cannot be trusted. Especially when they're carrying crossbows of death. <laughs>